30 days of journaling. Now, why embark on such a challenge? We have to pick apart why journaling can be beneficial for anyone. Then I'm going to tell you why journaling I think will be most beneficial for me. Why journal? Journaling can be fantastic for self-expression, organization of thoughts, gaining different perspectives, monitoring your mood and stress management. But for me, I'm coming at it from a different perspective. I want to really understand and feel what is going on in my head. We can so often feel something, push it down and get rid of it. And I really want to understand and feel what I'm feeling. Now, secondly, one goal for mine is to become more serene, more thoughtful. I want to be able to be in a position where I can regularly pause and answer and reply, but do so in a stoic, mindful way, making sure that my response is thought about and not just blurted out of my mouth. Now, I've tried to journal before and I have done it with some success. But it never really stuck. I would do it here and there, and it didn't really work for me. And one of the things that I really noticed was sometimes I'd sit down and open my journal and, and not really know what to write. So for these 30 days, I've come up with four journal prompts that I deem to be beneficial for me personally. First thing I write is, how do I feel? Now, for me, this has to be about emotions, not what am I thinking about? Because we'll come on to that. But what am I feeling? These are emotions. Upset, anger, frustration, sadness, happiness, joy. What am I feeling? What emotions are there? The second one, what's occupying my mind? So this is about a brain dump for me. Get everything out and make sure that it all makes sense on the page. Three, what am I grateful for? Gratefulness journaling has loads and loads, unmitigated amount of benefits, if you will. And really interestingly for me, I want to see if this gratefulness journaling is going to help me with positivity. Number four, aims for today slash tomorrow. It obviously is going to depend on when I journal, whether it's in the morning or in the night. But I want to list out some aims. They could be personal or professional. But I want to figure out what am I looking to do in the next 24 hours. The aim for me was to give me a space to start writing, as that can often be the hardest bit, the first step. So these are open enough to be interpreted however I wish in that moment, whilst also giving me some scientifically backed aid in prompts three and four. Okay, so today is January 1st. It is the start of the new year. I've got a new notepad, and today is gonna be the first day where I start journaling. So as you can see, Jan 1 is there. So here's the 30 days of journaling. So we're on day number 10 uh, of 30 days of journaling. And I thought I would sort of share a finding that I've had so far. And that finding has been interesting for me because I found that I've been rushing this journaling process. Like, almost like it was an exam, like a, a piece of homework from school. Um, I was just trying to put answers down to the questions as opposed to really thinking and feeling uh, what, I, what I was supposed to be thinking and feeling in those moments. I wasn't truly answering the questions. So today, after I notice this, uh, as of tomorrow, I'm gonna stop, like take a real deep breath and uh, ask the question to myself in my head as opposed to just reading it on the paper. Have a little think about it and then write down my thoughts as opposed to just rushing into it like I have been doing. Okay, so we're on day, what is it, day 15 of journaling. and. Uh, I had a, a pretty pretty rough day yesterday. A couple of things uh, came up at work and in personal life. And um, after I finished journaling, I started to notice that through the process of the how do I feel, what's occupying my mind, grateful and aims, I actually started off really like shitty, really negative. And I sort of ended the whole process with a, a different mindset, a different positivity that wasn't really in me prior to that. So another thing that I've sort of found on top of rushing that now has changed and I'm taking a little bit longer um, is that the, the sort of positivity can be affected. My mental, my mental capacity, my mood improves uh, and has been helped to improve through this process of, of going from getting everything out of my head, what am I feeling, to what am I grateful for and what am I going to do tomorrow. So it's first thing in the morning and I've uh, I just finished my journaling for today. I tried it this morning. 
And to me, it felt like a little bit counterproductive almost to journal first thing in the morning. Uh, I, I think over the last, by the way, day 18, day 18, um, over the last 18 days, I've realized that I prefer the, the nighttime journaling. And I prefer going to bed with the sort of clarity of getting everything out of my head as opposed to trying to figure out what's in my head first thing in the morning. So with the prompts that I've been using, for me at the moment, I've found it way better to be journaling at night time. Way better. And actually, by doing it in the evening, it sort of leaves me with a lack of thought, which I think in turn has really helped with my sleep. So I'm not going to bed with a brain full of information and full of thoughts. Getting it out on the paper has been really beneficial for sleep as well. Okay, so takeaways. First, let's talk about the good. Well, I thought the journal prompts were fantastic. Those four prompts were brilliant. I really enjoyed using them and they really spurred on good thought. On top of that, uh, I noticed that I really set aside time to be present, grounded and mindful, and that was one of the huge reasons that I was doing this. Did it help me with serenity? Absolutely. I felt significantly more serene and more thoughtful, more able to think uh, and give a, a measured response. Change in brain makeup was really interesting as well. I noticed how there was multiple times that I started negative, feeling a bit rubbish, and then managed to feel more positive and overall feel you know, in a better mood by the end of uh, one of the journaling sessions. Um, and for the sake of five minutes, best. that's frankly incredible. So let's have a think about the things that I'm improving to do better. Number one, as I mentioned earlier, rushing. It was really important for me to not rush. So I need to remember to stop, take a deep breath, chill, and then do my job. So that's Morning versus nighttime. I think the, the nighttime works better for me with these prompts. Maybe if the prompts change, um, maybe it would be better. Given the current circumstance, I would definitely say you're doing it at night time for me. I've got to think about the day. Now, I was at boot camp and I was working and there were lots of occasions where the journaling still happened, but it, it was somewhat difficult to happen. Life does get in the way. So, uh, it's about consistency, of course, but for me, I think what I should be doing going forward with this journaling is maybe not do it daily, but through self-awareness and through noticing my moods and emotions and feelings, have a think, do I need to journal? And if the answer is yes, execute, go and journal. Journal when needed as opposed to everything. But how do we apply this to esports? I think generally speaking, our, our mental well-being needs to be top-notch in esports, it needs to be looked at a significantly better state than it is currently. Um, and journaling is a really good way to do that. That's one way that you can think about your mental well-being without having to go and see a therapist, which I recommend, of course, or doctors, or, or think about any medication. This is one way that you can genuinely help better your mental health but you can also use journaling to think about uh, how you can improve in the game so you might want to think about journaling what the scrims were like or you might want to think about how did my games go today that period of reflection is one thing that i'm constantly talking about from an improvement standpoint so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it drop a like subscribe all those wonderful things comment if you like if you have any questions for me i'm always doing q and Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. That was 30 days of journaling.